Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we will be using an AI app called Pencil AI to do a clothes swap, like you can see in front of you. And one of the things that sets apart this AI clothes swapping tool is that it also allows you to swap the clothes based on a reference image. That means your own image. So you can literally have your own clothes that you can put on your subject. And it does it fairly well, but it also has some downsides. So this is going to be one of those realistic tutorials where I'll be showing you both the pros and cons so that you can learn this tool in its entirety. We'll also be doing like a small objective based project in this video. So it's going to be a slightly longer video, but it'll be fun. So let's get started. All the images that will be used in this tutorial have been given to you as well as the link to this particular tool has been given in the description. So now let's get started. Once you are on the pencil homepage, you're gonna to go to tools and there you will be able to find the clothes swapping tool. You do get 20 credits for free when you sign up for pencil. So you'll be able to use it for some time. And once you do find clothes swap, you're gonna hit try now. So first of all, you can see that the interface looks very clean. You just have to upload the model image, which will be the subject image and then this is where you can upload the garment image. Right now, just to keep things very simple, let's first of all, just use their own images that they provide. So you'll be able to find some images here. For example, we can just click on this. And this is one of the AI models that they have. And for garment, we're gonna select, let's say right now, this one, okay? So we do this and you have this little drop down menu. Just make sure that you select the right part here. So this is for upper body. So you're going to select that though. It usually takes in by uh, default whenever you select anything appropriately. Okay. But if it's wrong, then just make sure this is correct because otherwise the generations are not good. So now we are all set. You're simply going to, going to hit generate and let's wait for the results here. All right. So we've got our results here and you can see that this looks pretty good, but you can see that it has just missed out this part which happens very rarely okay i'll talk about when this tool makes mistakes usually in these kind of convenient images it does a pretty good job so let's just give it one more try by hitting generate once more all right so you can see that this time it has done a pretty good job it has covered that part up and this overall looks pretty good now what we want to do is that we also want to change these jeans over to let's say something like a black leather pants and this time what we'll do is we'll upload our own image instead of the images that they have given us for the garment here so i've given you this leather pant image that you would have found in a, amongst the images so we will download this image first okay because the problem is if i just upload the uh the leather pants image right here it's going to start the process again since our subject image is this one so we'll have to we'll have to just upload the subject image which is which will be the downloaded image and then use the leather pant image here so let's do that so once you do upload the image here you will be able to now change this also all right so we upload the garment image and anytime you do upload a manual image they give you this cropping tool so just make sure that everything is within the boundaries so let's see here, if it's slightly going out, that's okay. But what you can also do is just to fit this in, you can also just move the mouse wheel to just zoom out a bit. Okay, then it kind of fits in, you can see here. And then we can hit crop. So that's going to come here. And this time we just have to make sure that we select lower body and let's hit generate. All right, so you can see that this looks pretty good and we've been able to get both the top as well as the pants to our liking. And once you're happy, of course, you can hit uh, download. Now, another thing that you can do here is because you also in this menu, you have the option for full body. Now, this is a bit of a hit and miss. I've just seen that when you do it individually, it slightly works better. But I have given you this image where in the garment part, we have both the top as well as the black leather pants. So let's upload this uh, image here and let's change this subject to the original one. So we're kind of starting off again. And here, let's upload the one which has both. All right, now this time you can see that it is not fitting in within the boundary. So the first thing that you can do is just try to maximize this as much as you can, okay? But you can see, still see it's not fitting. So we're just gonna use our mouse wheel to just zoom out a bit. And maybe I can zoom in a bit. Yeah, so something like this is fine. We're gonna hit crop. And this time, make sure you select full body, okay? So, then once this is ready, let's hit generate. So this is gonna apply this to this one. All right, so you can see the results here this time are slightly different, but you can see that this also looks pretty good. If you see the top here, it looks very similar to that. 
And of course, this also looks good. And the advantage of this is that if you do get away with this, it saves you that extra credit. So this is another option that you have. And similarly, now it's pretty easy to understand that let's say if you had an image like this one, this you can try on your own, and you had sort of a dress-like image, then just make sure that you select dress. Okay, so when the images are as convenient as what they have given to us, right? Because till now we have experimented with the garment image being our own, but we have, we've still been using the AI model, right? But let's now use a real image, which is slightly more complex. And you're gonna find out that this tool can also struggle a bit. So I've given you the next image also, so let's upload that. All right, so this time, this is the image that we're using. And this time you just have to be a bit careful, which is, even though it's not the end of the world, but if this, these crop lines, they are going out of bounds like this, then any part which is outside, ultimately, when you do download the image, this is going to look a bit different because this is going to be completely white. Whereas if the background is, you can see it's a bit gray, so there's going to be a bit of disparity, but that's not such a big problem because if that happens, you can always, you know, just crop that part out. Because here the problem is there's no way to crop it in a way that the width and the height don't change uh, proportionally, okay? So they do, they're kind of locked. So our preference here is that first of all the model should be inside it okay if it if that means that it goes slightly out of bounds on the extremes that's fine but uh, we are giving more priority to this we're going to hit crop and this time what I want to show you is that if for example if I was to use any of their given example garments here right this is going to be a bit challenging because you can see for example the top that she's wearing it's not a very conventional thing right it's going all the way down uh, it's open from here. So let's see how well it can handle something like this. Again, we're going to select upper body and hit generate. So this time you can see, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. But if you just exactly compare this, uh, you know, the fact that this part is stopping right near the waist area, the uh, rest of it is going down because this actually is not like that, right? If you notice these parts, these are just the sleeves. But here, even this part is coming out like this. So it's gonna be a bit different. So the point here is that a lot depends on the subject that you choose or the type of image that you choose here in the model section. This has to be very similar. Whatever clothes swap you're doing on a real life image has to be very similar, whatever she's wearing, to whatever you're trying to replace it with. Then it works well. For instance, I've also given you this particular image. This time, let's try to change the jeans here, okay, the denim, and let's change it into this one. So let's upload it here because that's gonna work better since we don't have any sort of issues going on here. So let's try this. So we're just gonna crop this and get it to this. And what we are hoping is that, you know, this should look pretty seamless, at least from the point of view of the texture and the color. So let's uh, make sure we select lower body this time and let's hit generate. All right, so this time you can see that, yes. When it comes to changing this, this worked out much better, right? This didn't create any sort of problems. And it feels like yeah, it fits the original subject very well. So like I said, a lot depends on uh, the subject image. And once you're happy with something, not only can you download it, but if you're very sure that you like the results, you can always upscale the image because if you just hit download, it's gonna be a downscale image. So if you're really happy with the result, make sure that you increase its resolution before uh, downloading it. And finally, what we're gonna do is, let's just take a sort of a project and let's say that we have our own sort of a clothing brand and we're planning to use some images for e-commerce where we want to just display some models. So how can we use this tool in conjunction with some other AI tools that Pencil offers us to do a virtual photo shoot for our clothes? And we're going to be taking an example of a hoodie. Okay, so let's get started with that. So let's say these are the requirements in front of us. This is the hoodie that we have. We want this to be put on an AI model because we don't have the money to spend on a real photo shoot. And secondly, we also have this particular portrait in mind. So whatever AI model we select, that person should look close to this person, okay? And then we just want to create this AI model wearing this hoodie, which let's say we can put on an e-commerce website where we are selling our clothes. So how will we go about this, okay? So the first thing is that you can, if you go down here, you have this option which says load more models. So these aren't the only models that you have here. So let's say for example, I'm in India right now. And what I want is that for my hoodies, I want an Indian model, okay? So they give you a lot of different choice. Here you can see t-shirt models, plus size models, dress, underwear, hoodie, and all these things. So let's say we are interested in the hoodie model. So we're gonna select this one. And then you'll be redirected to this page where according to the different uh, ethnicities, you will be able to find your own model. So if I go down here, you can see 
so many different types of models. You can literally choose the one to your liking. So I'm looking for some uh, Indian model. So you can see like something like this. So if I just click on this and you can see we can even add our own face and we can change the clothes right here. We can download it. We can also hit show prompt where it shows us what exactly was the prompt used for this. So in case you want to create more variations of this, Pincel also has a text to image generation model which you can use with this particular prompt. But we'll not right now go there. We'll stick to our objective which is that the hoodie has to be changed here to our own hoodie and also the face has to be changed to the kind of face that we want. So let's do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is that let's add our own face here. So we're going to hit add your face and it's going to actually redirect us to another tool inside Pencil which is the face swapping tool. So here we've got our original image. We're going to click on add a new face and add that reference image here. All right, so we've done this and now we're going to hit generate and let's wait for this. And you can see that that has done a pretty good job. So now if we compare this to this, that looks fantastic, right? So we, we can now download this image and now we can go back to our tools, go back to the cloth swap tool and in the model image, we're going to put this image and in the garment image, we'll put our own hoodie. So let's do that. All right, so you can see here we've got our hoodie. We'll just have to zoom out a bit. First of all, you can always try to expand this, but you can see that this is not going to fit till the time we zoom in a bit. Maybe something like this is fine. And show this here. And let's hit crop. And this is for upper body. So I'm just going to hit generate. Let's wait for the results here. All right, so we've got our results here. And you can see this doesn't look bad. The only issue here is that this part, the top part of the uh, hoodie is the original one and that's because if you notice the garment image this doesn't really have any sort of an indication to give to the AI algorithm that it also is supposed to be black right so in the first time around we learned that the subject image can be very important this time the lesson is that even the garment image can be very important but this is not bad if you look at the other parts like for example if you look at the pockets here this looks pretty good we already have our own face something like this we're just quickly going to go inside Photoshop and use Generative Fill to quickly correct this. So let's do that. All right, so I upscaled the image, I downloaded it, and I have opened it up inside Photoshop, and I've just made, just to save time, I've just made the selection of this part that we're trying to change to black. So now that we've got our Generative Fill contextual taskbar, we're going to just type in change color to black. These are things where you might, it might take a bit of trial and error. So let's see the results uh, for this. This has to be black. All right, so on the second generation, I've got something which is similar to what we are looking for. So when you do get that generation, which is close to what you want, because it's still gray, we want it to be black. We can just hit generate similar. All right, so after that, we've got this result, which looks close. And for one final time, let's hit generate similar again. And I think something like this, that looks pretty good. But yeah, sometimes it can take a bit of trial and error. But the overall verdict is that provided you've thought this through both the model image as, the as well as the garment image, I think it does a pretty good job, especially when compared to the other AI tools out there. And I think this can save a lot of money if you are into selling your own clothes, because then this will just spare you having to do an actual photo shoot. So let me know what you think. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow all the experiments that I'm doing with the latest AI tools out there and how they can help photographers, then don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.